So I was faced with a, a difficult decision of whether I should like keep eating meat or not. And it's just something that people aren't really used to. You know, you can't just like have passion lead you into it. You also have to do a lot of research, you know, to be able to back up your points because you will meet opposition along your way. My name is Ana Ruiz and I'm a student graphic designer at Academic Technologies at the University of Texas at El Paso. Okay, well, when I was 12 years old, I was exposed to a lot of like information that made me more socially aware of the things that animals go through when they're subjected to um, the meat industry. So I was faced with a, a difficult decision of whether I should like keep eating meat or not. Um, and I chose not to eat meat anymore. So I was exposed to like videos that were like meet your meat and it talked about like different like chickens and fish and beef and all sorts of animals that we tend to eat. Mm -hmm. um, so it just made me aware of how they're treated for the meat because you know like you have this idea of like oh they're in the farm and it's like happy and green and like I mean yeah they die but it's, has to be like through some like ethical way, but it's actually not like that at all. For some reason, people really like to ask me about my diet, even though like, you know, when people are like eating other things, like I, I, I never like inquired like, oh, like why do you eat meat? But all the time they're like, why don't you eat meat? Like, oh, do you know that it does this, this and this? And they're always like hitting me with certain points that are for the most part never right. And I mean, a lot of people just do it like as a teasing thing because vegetarians are sort of like a minority in a way. Um, and it's just something that people aren't really used to. It's actually a lot better now because it's become more commonplace um, like among society to be vegetarian. And now it's just like a point of like getting used to it and you know, knowing that like I'm doing it for a reason and you know, maybe they don't completely understand that reason, but it's okay. Yeah, going out to like restaurants and stuff at, at the beginning was really difficult because I would always be like, oh, I guess I have to like eat like a salad or like if we went to like fast food, it'd be like, okay, well, you have to get fries. And um, a lot of the time it was like, people were like, well, why didn't you just eat meat? Like, you're just making it difficult for us. And um, yeah, I mean, it would make me feel bad, but it was like, it was for a reason. When you really care about something, you know, you can't just like have passion lead you into it. You also have to do a lot of research, you know, to be able to back up your points because you will meet opposition along your way. I think that being vegetarian has helped me in other parts of my life because I think that I try to be an ethical person in most situations. I think, I honestly do think that by being, that more people being vegetarian, it would like to help a much larger change in the world. So to me, being ethical is just doing the least amount of harm that I can in general, you know, not just to people, but also to animals or just to the world. To other young people that, you know, want to stand up for something that they really believe in, I feel that they should just keep going at it because like when you're young, a lot of people will tell you that you're not making a difference and that you're not doing anything to help anyone. But if you care about it, then you should do it. Thank you.